Hello guys! So today we're going to be using this key to do something pretty dang cool. Um, I'm going to first glue it to my nose. And continue to be distracted by whatever's on TV. So you, first you want to measure out kind of where you want it and then put I put glue on the key itself. And kind of spread it on there a little just to hold it on my face until it was dry. Now as you see here. I also put a little bit of a wound on my cheek. Next, we are going to take some foundation, make sure your Q-tip is a little wet, and blend in the glue to hide it underneath my face and to make it look like it's gone through my nose. Sorry you can't see my entire process, but I honestly am just putting foundation anywhere I see glue to hide the white spot. Now that that's done, I encourage you to blend the edges a lot to like even it out with your skin tone. And that's what you're seeing me do here with another part of the Q-tip being wet. After that, it is the setting powder that you will use, but be careful because we don't want to knock the key off. Even though it is dry, it is being held by a little bit of glue. Now that you've seen the entire process on my key, let's do it to my cheek. So next we're going to use the black crayon that I have, or like eyeliner to fill in the center of it, but for the key you're going to want to do it on the edges where it's come through your nose. You can also use black eyeshadow to do the same thing right after, which is what I did here to the key because the pencil didn't work very well. Next I used my red lip liner to do the same thing and to map out kind of where the blood is. And I used some red blush for the red shading instead of some red eyeshadow. Or you can add a heart and say that it's the key to your heart, 
or a lock on your forehead, I just put the key in, but that's okay. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.